Hi, this is Tom Vizzini of Essential Skills, and I want to talk to you today about customization. Now, <clears throat> interestingly enough, a lot of people act as if everybody's the same. You know, what does that mean? It means if I'm going to teach somebody how to be persuasive, that everybody can use the same set of tools, but they can't use those same set of tools in the same way. And, you know, I, I want to give you a couple examples of, of what we talk about and what makes the upcoming training we're having very, very unique in that we spend the time personalizing these skills to each individual. That's why, you know, we don't have 100 people in the room because we couldn't do that for 100 people. So <clears throat> that's where the space of the seminar is kind of limited and kind of small. So I want to give you an idea of what you're in for. So there's certain things that you got to look for when you're, when you're talking about customization. You know, well, you know, first let me ask, what do I mean? Customize. Customize means to make custom. <laughs> to make it to fit you. And it's one of the things that always got me when I was first learning these kinds of things. And, you know, even, you know, personal development, uh, you know, communication skills, persuasion skills, and just basically getting through everyday life strategies that, uh, that kind of frustrated me is it, the thing that people treated me like I was just the same as the guy sitting next to me. And nothing can be further from the truth. It's the mentality that, it's what I call the one size pair of pants mentality. You know, <laughs> if all there was is one size pair of pants in the world, there would be a lot of people squeezing into pants and the other end having pants fall off. But there would be a certain percentage of people that the pants would just naturally fit. Everybody else had a choice. You either had to change in order to fit into that pair of pants or abandon the skills altogether as something that just wasn't going to work for you. And frankly, that's something that's been happening. You know, when it comes to the personal development world, you know, persuasion world, all of these things, that a lot of people would come to a seminar, they'll, they sit there, they try everything, and they go home and decide, well, you know, that was really, really interesting, but it just wasn't for them. Let me tell you, it's going to be different. Let me give you an example of what we're talking about. People are different physically. So what that means is someone who's six foot three is going to have to use the skills differently than somebody who's, you know, five foot six. All right, because they're different body types, they're, they're different sizes. Just size alone does make a difference. <laughs> Who'd have thought? So, <clears throat> you know, an imposing guy, somebody, a male who's big, you know, six foot something, let's say he's big and strong and muscular, is going to have to approach somebody in a much softer way because just their near size is going to be imposing. Now, in the past, you would think, hey, well, that's a big advantage. You've got a guy here. He looks very dominant. He's going to be able to, to get his way. And you know something? A lot of times that's true. Big guys tend to always occupy a position of dominance because they're just used to it. They're used to getting their way just by the fact that they're big. Um, just like very attractive people. All right? They're used to getting their way because they're very attractive. Um... <clears throat> You know, so a big person, physically, is going to have to soften it. They're going to have to use distance, okay? They're going to have to move away. They're going to have to soften their approach. They're going to have to change their level of rapport. Their level of rapport has to, it, it can be a little dominant, but that's not going to be the first thing you're going to do. You're going to have to come in, you know, being a little softer, a little more equal to the people that you talk to. And once you get a sense that they're feeling at ease, you know, then you can move on. I mean, just think about this, okay? So you've got big person walking up, wanting to get something from, you know, or connect with or get a job from or anything, somebody who's small. All right, already you've got, you know, you've got the size issue, you've got the dominance issue, you've got whatever anchors get triggered in this person from whatever happened to them. You've got all kinds of things you've got to contend with. If you don't, you know, look, it's not fair, all right? I'm not saying this is right. I'm just saying this the way things are. Being bigger 
makes a difference because it can actually work against you. All right, so that's, that's just one thing. So think about this. That's just size, just, just for an example. All right, now you also have um, your natural movement. I talk a lot with my hands. For me, it's very comfortable, and because it is, it doesn't seem forced or phony when I do it. Where you run into trouble with somebody who doesn't talk with their hands very much, and their natural movements are very small. They may sit with their hands to the side. They may go move their body back and forth when they talk. You've got to be able to adapt what we're going to do to fit that kind of person. Someone who has minimally, <laughs> minimal movement. All right. You got other people who who they, they move, but it's just a little bit. It's just with their hands, you know. And and they got people who are very expressive with their voice, and they have a wide volume control, emotional control of how they use their voice. And you can use that. And you've got other people who, you know, they talk a little bit softer and they they do things a little bit different. And you have to be able to adapt the skills to fit these different personality types. Um, <clears throat> There's pace. You know, a lot of people can be really fast-paced and energetic and pull people along with them. Other people are a little slower and a little softer, and they have to use different strategies to get the same job accomplished. So, I mean, physically, you can tell. Just physically, there are enough different types of people to where if I tried to teach people to do things just the way I did them, then I would have everybody trying to use their hands and move things around and being as expressive as I am. And while they may be able to put that, do that for a little while, sooner or later they're going to start going back into their natural physical type. And when they get home, they're not going to be using the skills the way that they need to. <clears throat> Personality. Personality is another thing. Everybody's different. Okay? Some people are very outgoing. I'm very outgoing. You can talk about just about anybody. Uh, Kim's outgoing. But other people are not. You know, then there's people who are kind of average. They connect every once in a while. They talk to people, you know, kind of medium. And then there's those who are a little bit more withdrawn, who you're going to have to give a completely different strategy to. They're going to have to use different types of uh, changes that they're going to make. You know, <laughs> it's like this. If somebody's very, very withdrawn... I'm going to have to give them a personal development tool to help them to come out of their uh, shell, so to speak, and, and, and teach them to, to kind of, they don't have to become, wow, hugely expressive, but I need to get them moving in a direction so that they can take the skills and grow with them and get to the livable or the, the level of their potential. Everybody's got different potential. Um, you know, some people just run with things. But on the other hand, let's take the other end of it. We got somebody who's really, really outgoing. Well, that's great with other really, really outgoing people. But if somebody really outgoing is trying to talk to somebody who's really withdrawn, it's going to blow them completely out of the water. Again, we have a personal change that has to occur to allow this person to relax. I recently gave somebody advice. They, uh, they were having trouble because they were always dominant. They were always outgoing, they were always expressive. And that allowed them to push through in lots of situations. Except that now he lives in a foreign country. And his dominance makes everybody else withdraw from him. So it's not working. And he's having trouble coming out of that dominant mentality because it has been a strength for him for so long that he doesn't understand it's turned into a weakness. And it's actually getting in the way of him having success in the country that he's in. <clears throat> So when you come to personality and just the three, those three aspects of it, whether someone's outgoing, equal, or withdrawn, you have to take things and make adjustments. And each individual in what they say, what they do, how they make changes, how they interact with other people, so that they can get greater success in their life. You got to remember, this is all about success. This is all about taking you from where you are to where you want to go and getting there in the least amount of time with the least amount of effort, because frankly, I'm an incredibly lazy human being, and I don't think there's any reason in the world to make maximum effort and get minimum results when you can use average effort and get amazing results. <clears throat> so, so we've talked about it. We've got size. We've got that some people are very, very outgoing and dominant, and other people, you know, they're very, you know, they might even be big people who are, you know, just kind of withdrawn, all right, and they, 
you know, they don't, they don't tend, you know, to make eye contact a lot and stuff like that. <clears throat> You've got to be able to make adjustments in these kinds of people to be able to use what we're going to be teaching you so that you can have the kind of life that you dream about. The people that I know that are the most successful are the people who they can have a range of behavior so that they can connect with a giant range of people. All right, so <clears throat> the other part about customization, I want to talk to you about this because it is really important, <clears throat> is that believe it or not, not everybody has the same goal. Some people have social goals. They want to, they want to go out and they want to meet people. There are women who want to meet men, men who want to meet women, people who just want to make friends, people who want to go have fun, people who just want to go to a bar and not for the one millionth time sit at the end of the bar and watch the rest of the world have a blast. And then they're walking through the world like a spectator. Okay? <clears throat> just socially, you know, you, you have, you know, <clears throat> you have friends, uh, relationships, and especially business, financial, financial, socially financial things. Uh, the people that I know that make the most money are people who make the most connections. You make the most connections by knowing how to con adjust the people, how to make changes in yourself, how to change the level of rapport you have, how to be persuasive, and knowing when to shut up, which is a whole other thing. But I'll get into that some other time. So you've got your social skills. You have people who have, uh, or social goals. You have people who have business goals. Okay? You have business, okay? You might want to, you know, get a job, get an interview. You might want to get a promotion. Or you might be a manager and just want to be able to manage people better. <clears throat> so that you can get better results and climb the ladder. You know, social skills, business skills, everybody's different. And it's two different skill sets. If you want it, this is a different skill set than this, so that we have to know what your goal is. To be able to adjust what you're doing. I recently had a coaching session with somebody who was working basically in the business realm of how to take what we've done and what then the changes he needs to make to give him more confidence, to give him more tools, to give him a set of anchors and a, and a, and a level of rapport that he needs to, to use to get the goals he wants so that he can improve himself and become more independent of the job that he would had and be able to go out on his own and actually have the life that he wants. Completely different skill set than... A social thing where someone wants to go out, be able to talk to women, be able to talk to men, be able to, to make a connection. All right, now the third thing, you know, I've got a lot of people and it's a completely different skill set. You know, people that want persuasion, okay, sales comes to mind. Um, you know, and sales are a completely different thing because you've got, you've got prospecting, you've got selling, you've got closing, you've got relationships. All of these come into three different categories. And we need to be able to customize what we're teaching you in order to fit your goal. Now, <clears throat> one last level. One last customization. Because if you understand which of your primaries. Now, understand this is for everybody wants all of these, and I understand that. But you got to figure out what your primary reason for learning this stuff is, and then you can break it down into other areas. <clears throat> so, then we come to the last area of customization that I want to talk about today, and that is your level of expertise right now. <clears throat> you know, are you a novice with zero experience? Okay, I've got to teach you in a different way. Okay, and a lot of ways you're actually lucky because I don't have to unteach you a bunch of bad habits in order to teach you the good ones. All right. Um, you know, are you someone's kind of in the middle? 
intermediate. Enter. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Just some of you have you have some understanding of the concepts of uh, <clears throat> rapport, anchoring, personal development. You may have been to other seminars. You may have been to our seminars before. All right, and you want just want to advance your skills to be even better than they were. You might even just want to refresh your skills. Okay, but you have you. I need to teach at a completely different level than a novice because you need fine tuning. You need more direction. You need the little practice. You, you need to be given tasks that are more appropriate to your level of understanding. If I give you a novice's level, a novice level task, you're going to be bored. And you're not gonna you're not gonna enjoy yourself and you're gonna leave not having more than you showed up with. I mean our goal is to get what you came for. And if you can get what you came for and push yourself to the edge with us there coaching you the whole time, you get to have an amazing life. This is about having an amazing life. I don't care what kind of life you've had up to now, having an amazing life will make all the difference to you. And I'm not talking about just becoming super wealthy. I'm talking about having an amazing life, being able to walk through the world comfortably in your own skin without using effort to say hello or to make a sale or get a job. In other words, do all the things that highly successful people, very happy people, people who are now currently living amazing lives are able to do. Okay, now <clears throat> also, Let's say you're somebody who's advanced. Okay. <clears throat> I've got to teach you in a completely different way. Kim and I have to sit down with you and find out what you're doing, what's working, what's not working, where do you want to improve it, and you know how many of the other applications that you may have not been working on actually are something where you want to start directing your attention. Very interestingly, <laughs> I've got a couple people who are, who are coming, who are coming with friends or even significant others, where one of them is very advanced and the other one is not, doesn't know anything. And I have to teach them differently. They're not really even going to be able to work together very well in the seminar because <clears throat> I'm going to have to give this person a completely different set of tools and, or, or a set of drills and set of exercises than I will this person because this person will get bored. Now, <clears throat> that's what I mean when we talk of customization, okay? In a one-size-fits-all mentality for seminars and, and personal development and persuasion, this is what sets us apart, and we're taking the time to do it. We're taking the time to get you four weeks of pre-training, five days of live training, four weeks of post-training, personal one-on-one -on -one coaching session, and the whole time keeping in touch with you, you know, through email and giving you tasks, you know, to, this ends up being a four month long seminar. And people tell me I'm insane for the price we're charging. I got to tell you right now. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, in order to get this kind of training, and I know people who charge $10,000 just for one day, one day of training, they want $10,000. Four weeks of their time, they want twenty to thirty-five thousand dollars. I'm giving people four months for only fifteen hundred pounds. No, for a thousand pounds, which is roughly fifteen hundred dollars American. So, <clears throat> if you understand the concept of customizing all the things we teach and all the places you've been, just imagine. Just think about this for a moment. Just, just really think about it. Think about the things that you've learned in your life where somebody tried to force you into a mold and didn't take you into account. Think about if you've gone to seminars, how it's been one-size-fits-all seminars, and you're not using the things that you've been learning because the way it was being taught didn't fit your personality, didn't fit your body type, didn't fit your, your, <clears throat> your rhythm, your goals, didn't fit even, even your skill level. And we're able to do all of this for you because we're going to take the individual amount of time. Due to technology, we can have, you know, video seminars, video post trainings. You know, we can broadcast this seminar 
so that if you can't make it live to London, you can watch it on the internet in real time, getting real feedback because we sit down and talk to the people who are online and even have ways for them to work with each other through video and internet. You know, the technology was never like this before. The technology to have these seminars five years ago didn't exist. And now we can take it and make intensive seminars that get you everything you want at the quality level that was never, ever possible before. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me at tom.vizzini, V-I-Z-Z-I-N-I, at gmail.com. If you want to find out more about what we're doing in London, there should be a link below this video. Click it and find out what you want, and then sign up and be there. Our, this is April 11th. Our first post-training, our first pre-training starts this Saturday, April 14th. Not signed up yet? Don't worry about it. All of these trainings, everything in this seminar will be recorded and loaded up to our website. So all of the trainings will be online. The last one we did in October, all the video is up on our, on our website right now. The four pre-trainings, the full live training. So if by some chance you can't make it a day and you want to watch it later, the full live training is up there all five days. The four post trainings are all set up for you to watch. After the training, the best part, the training's not over after the training is over. Those videos will stay there for six months for you to go back and refer to. You're thinking about, well, you know, I was thinking about the, the first seminar, which the one that's coming up uh, this Saturday is the 3D Mind Light version, most powerful personal change method ever developed and the easiest to use and just gets the most immediate measurable result. Okay, so let's say it's next October or next September. And you say, you know, I want to review the 3D mind, that I, the, the, the pre-training that we had. And it'll be online. You sit down, there's two hours of video for you to watch anytime you want. The five-day training. Say, wow, on day three, we did this really cool exercise. I wish I could remember what it was. You don't have to remember what it was. It's on there. Boom, boom. Day three, afternoon. There it is. Click on the video, and you have it right there. That alone, I'm telling you, just the video alone is worth the price of the seminar. Just having that video is worth the price of the seminar. And very few people on the planet will allow this to happen. Okay, let me add one more thing, just in case I, you haven't heard it enough, because I think it's important. Money-back guarantee. If we don't deliver, you get your money back. Anybody who's not giving you a money-back guarantee should fold up their tent and get out of business right now. So anyway, I'm Tom Bazzini with Essential Skills. I would like you to take a look at what we have to offer. I guarantee you will find nothing like it anywhere. And you need to sign up now because we're not probably going to be back to the UK for quite some time. So if you're anywhere in Europe, or if you are in the US and want to watch online, or if you're anywhere where the time zone fits, where you can be an observer of online and see the seminar and still get the one-on-one -on -one customized training that you want, sign up today. This is Tom Bazzini. I appreciate your time.